I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could greet you about blood. What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nate Triple O. G. I'm about to bring you a fire review of the ZX4000 4D by Adidas. Let's get into the review. I'm really excited about this one. Before we get into the details of the shoe, let's go ahead and give a brief history of the shoe. The 4D is one of Adidas' most recent innovations as far as like athletic footwear. Now, the 4D was first introduced to the public in the year of 2015. Uh, the first shoe released in 2018. Um, they've been working on this shoe for a long time and I'm really a big fan of like new technology, especially athletic technology. Who doesn't want a 4D shoe? Now, the shoe had a heavy price tag the price tag for this shoe in particular was 350 bucks so that is kind of steep for a sock shoe um, even though it has this 4d technology now the what i will say as of now um, i've worn a shoe just around the house i haven't worn it outside yet it's pretty much cold in chicago the shoe feels really comfortable comparing it to boost um, I couldn't say which shoe is better because I haven't worn it long enough to really get that feel as far as like which is better for the boost, but we are going to get a detailed look of this shoe. Let's go ahead and do that right about now. Okay, so right off the back, let's get into the packaging of the 4D Future Crab. The box is shaped a little differently from all the other boxes that Adidas has been making. So you got that box all black with that gloss uh, 4D on there. Um, the official colorway of the shoe, well, the name of the shoe is uh, ZX4000 4D, and that is the color, uh, that's the colorway. Um, size 9, blah, 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 same box. What's in a box? So let's go ahead and open that thing up. Boom. So the box opens a little bit differently. Um, you see it has this little fold out part right here. But let's go ahead and get into the shoes because who really cares about a box? Boom, right off the back. Look at the craftsmanship of the shoe. Um, you have this uh, bent green, the 4D material. Now this material, some might think it's like really hard because it is like 4D material, but it is kind of squishy as you can see, right? I'm pushing that in. So I'm not, I'm not sure if it's softer than Boost but it is really soft. Uh, the sole looks like this. You have black with this like, I think this is like a pink. Yeah, yeah, it is, it's pink. Yeah, black, pink, and then you got that mint green here also. Uh, Adidas logo right there. Branding. I don't know exactly what this logo stands for. I'll try to do more uh, research on that. But anyway, you got this suede right here towards the heel of the shoe. Back on the back of the shoe, you got that red stitching. Um, nice suede here also. And the inside of the shoe, you got the Adidas brand with the ZX. Uh, 4000 4D. Um, I'm not sure if this is 3M material right here. I can't really tell, but this is all knit here. You know, it's really like firm. You got the suede here also, also with that red stitching. And what I have to say about this so far, just looking at the shoe, also with the suede here also, man, this is like really good material. But what I wanted to say was the craftsmanship of the shoe is superb. You know, with this being new technology, you know, Adidas like is always spot on as far as like getting things done, not getting you shoes that are messy. And you know, if you're like a real stickler uh, for things like that, as far as like, you know, bad materials, like missing threading and like, you know, all that type of stuff, you know, you probably won't get that with this brand. You got that tongue right there, that mint green here. Um, yellow laces, not so much yellow. It's like a yellow, but also like a mint green also. The stitching right there. ZX4000 4D, stitching right there also. That red stitching, suede, that sign right there. Inside the inside of the shoe, you have uh, Adidas. You guys can pause the screen if you really wanna read that. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, man. Like the shoe is excellent, man. I really like the shoe. Um, I definitely like the bottom of that shoe, man. It's like, it's, it's, it's dope. I don't know what it is about that pink. I don't know, it just goes so well. And then like that red stitching right there also. Well, it's kind of like reddish pink. I guess it's like a light red, you know what I mean? Like this is like a dope shoe. You know, the uh, the knit here is like, I like the pattern. It's nice, it's tough. It doesn't look like you can like see straight through the shoe. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I'm, I'm feeling it. Also, you got that suede in the inside. It's not only on the outside of the shoe. But they also got it wrapped in the inside with a stitch in there, like perfect stitching. Like I haven't been able to find any type of flaws to this shoe. You know, I really like this. You know what I'm saying? I really like it. You know, I'm not trying to be biased. I'm not like some Adidas guy or I'm not like a Nike boy. Pretty much I just like footwear and I like craftsmanship, especially when you take the time and like for that $350 price tag, this shoe, I would say it's immaculate. 
as far as like the quality it's not trashly put together uh, i'm not sure what other reviews are saying i haven't looked at any other reviews you know what i mean but i'm really feeling the shoe but let's go ahead and give you a cry let's go ahead and give you guys a quick on feet you know what i'm saying we're gonna do that right about now Are you guys feeling it? I know I am. Like, I'm really excited about this shoe. I really can't wait to wear it, especially looking at that sole. I know I talked about that, that green and this mint green here. It's like the colors go so perfect together. I know the $350 price tag is pretty steep, but I was willing to pay it and I, I definitely would pay it again. I wasn't really too much concerned about resale value when it came to this shoe, more or less because I just wanted to have something new, something different that everybody wasn't wearing. This shoe, I promise you, like in the summertime, nobody's gonna have it on. You're gonna be like the freshest person out. People are gonna be like breaking their neck trying to really see it. A lot of people haven't seen these in person, more or less because of that price tag. And they are, they're not like a, a wide release, not as of yet. I'm sure that the price tag should go down because at one point, remember they were talking about how boots was so hard to obtain. So you would think when they came up with 4D, you know what I mean, with the 4D material here, that the price tag would have went down because boots was so expensive to get. But what it seems is, like this 4D material, it might be harder to make than boots. Well, I'm sure it's not harder to make than boots, but I'm sure like the materials might cost a little bit more i don't know anyway i'm feeling the shoots leave a comment down below let me know what you guys are thinking don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video please leave that positive feedback or negative feedback let me know what i'm doing and i'll holler at you guys next time peace I can't see